My name is Nina if you're new and this video is my Halloween house tour or it's at least a tour of some of the uh, rooms in my house those I have decorated for Halloween and uh, as the previous years uh, this year as well I have been inspired by Harry Potter uh, I'm following the um, the movies that my uh, grandson is uh, watching uh, and he is now up to number four and that's Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and uh, so that has been my inspiration this year uh, it, and it's particular the scenes with the dragons that have inspired me so so um, dragons was kind of the theme for uh, some of my my decor this year. I usually do my kind of main uh, decor uh, as my tablescape. So uh, my dining room is where I have uh, used that inspiration the most and then I have tried to uh, take things from the other movies in the other rooms. And uh, I have made uh, a lot during the years uh, so it's almost nothing left to do. This may be my last Harry Potter year, I'm not sure. Um, but as usual, uh, I am not good with budgeting my time. Uh, I think I will manage to do a lot more than I uh, really do. And I have not been feeling well, as many of you um, no, thank you so much for the nice comments. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit better, uh, but I'm not going to talk about that in this video. Um, but I had great plans for this, uh, and it's not actually from... Uh, my grandson has not seen this dragon yet, but there's a huge white dragon in the bank. Um, uh, it's the one you can see sitting on the roof uh, at uh, at Harry Potter, the Harry Potter part in in the uh, is it Disney World that has the Harry Potter or is it Universal? I'm not sure. But anyways, I digress. I have and I almost did the whole dragon. I made. Um, the jaws and the body but when it came to putting the two parts together uh, I just couldn't do it uh, and there was no time left it was supposed to be a huge the head of a huge dragon uh, coming down from the roof uh, but I had to kind of 
just put that project to the side uh, and it was kind of my showstopper so uh, maybe not so much uh, big new things this year but I have been playing a lot with clay and if you haven't tried please do it's so fun and you can make so many different things a lot of the decor that I have made um, the Harry Potter decor I have made is from doll clay and you can make so much great stuff from only aluminium foil and uh, and uh, metal wire and clay uh, okay I'm babbling uh, is there anything more I should say before we start no I don't think so uh, I will do it to a voiceover uh, again uh, yeah. so without further ado and I hope you enjoy this is my house all decked out for Halloween bye guys <laughs> I wanted to use the items from the earlier Harry Potter movies. Here's Hedwig, uh, and you saw a lot of Hedwigs uh, with the letter that uh, Harry receives from Hogwarts. The blue pixies are made from clay. I made them some years ago, and so is Dobby, at least his head, his arms, and his legs. Um, and there are a lot of the items from the, especially the first movie. Here's Harry's wand, the jumping chocolate frogs. My husband and I made the Nimbus 2000 a couple of years ago. And the wall behind is just an MDF with some wallpaper. The sign is made from a wood we had laying around and paint, that's all you need. And here is my dining room or our dining room and here is this year's theme uh, which is the harry potter and the goblet of fire i think this guy from slytherin has been waiting for food for a long time Tablescape, as I said in the intro, is based on the scene from the dragon scenes from uh, the movie. 
Uh, it's not easy to see in this uh, lighting, but there's sand and stones as a kind of a table runner. My poor husband had to drag in this very large and heavy uh, stone. And there's the golden egg that the dragons are guarding. I turn on the light so it will be easier for you to see. Here's the green Welsh dragon. And this is the Hungarian horntail, which is the dragon that Harry Potter has to fight. And of course they are chained to the stone so they don't fly away before dinner. The name tags is supposed to look like the and pieces of paper with name on them that the Goblet of Fire shoots out. Here is Sirius Black in the fireplace. It's just a picture uh, that I've laid upon on top of the twinkling lights inside the fireplace. I did a mantle, very simple. Here the dragon was supposed to come down from the ceiling. I was supposed to do the Goblet of Fire as well but there was no time so we just bought a little uh, goblet and uh, painted it brown this guy if you have seen some of my earlier halloween videos is usually playing the piano but this year he has kind of branched out so he's uh, gone over to vocals Rita Skeeter is the famous journalist in Harry Potter and here is her pen and paper and some of her notes from the interview with Harry Potter Moving into our living room, here is a lot of the decor that I did last year when the theme was the Prisoner of Azkaban. So here are the, uh, a lot of scary Dementors, which are the guards in Azkaban, which is, which is the prison in uh, in the Wizarding World. Here is my main drake and the card from Azkaban, the sign from Azkaban. We made uh, a lot of posters last year uh, with all our faces. So I have reused those this year. And I also made uh, Azkaban uh, signs for everybody, so I've used those uh, as well. Here's Ron and Harry in the car, up in the tree. I love the black ravens, they are, they make such an impact or, yeah. I think it looks really Halloween-y. Here's more of the posters and of course the time turner and I think I have or I know I have two large the mentors and three small the two large one I have made and the three small ones I have bought and just uh, made small adjustments to. Here is the bird phoenix as a grown bird and also as a baby. The elder wand or Dumbledore's wand is of course here 
at my secretary. And we of course have family photos. On the menu we had blue potatoes, blood red uh, carrot puree, green peas and violet fish balls in bechamel. My furry baby was a little bee and my beautiful little grandson was a zombie. My son-in-law and daughter had also dressed up. And looked great I think thank you so much for watching guys I hope you got inspired I hope you got some idea I hope you fall in love with Harry Potter as much as we have done I hope you have a wonderful Halloween and that I see you again for my next video bye guys <laughs>